CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 51 through 55. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 51. Which relational database feature ensures that only valid data is input into a specified column? The answer is C. Constraints. In relational databases, constraints are rules applied to columns or tables to ensure data integrity and accuracy. When a constraint is set on a column, it dictates what kind of data can be entered into that column, ensuring that only valid and appropriate data is stored. For instance, a constraint might limit entries to a specific range of numbers or ensure that a field contains unique values. By enforcing these rules, constraints help maintain the reliability and consistency of the database's information. Question 52. A user is acquiring a laptop to hold sensitive personal information. To guarantee the data's security, even in the event of theft, which measure should be taken? The answer is A. Encryption. Encryption is a method of converting data into a cipher text in order to prevent unauthorized access. When data on a laptop is encrypted, it becomes unreadable to anyone who doesn't have the decryption key or password. So, even if the laptop is stolen, the thief would not be able to access the encrypted data without the correct decryption credentials. This ensures that sensitive personal information remains secure and confidential, regardless of the physical security of the device. Question 53. What type of program interacts directly with hardware to manage storage, network connectivity, and virtual machines? The answer is D. Type 1 hypervisor. Unlike Type 2 hypervisors, which run atop an existing operating system, Type 1 hypervisors have direct access to physical hardware resources. This makes them more efficient and ideal for enterprise environments, where performance and scalability are crucial. In essence, they serve as a fundamental layer between the hardware and multiple operating systems, allowing for the creation and management of virtual machines. Question 54. Which of the following is a compiled language? The answer is C. Java. Java is considered a compiled language because its source code is written by developers in a human-readable format and then compiled by the Java compiler into bytecode. This bytecode is a platform-independent, intermediate representation of the source code. Question 55. In CompTIA's troubleshooting methodology, which action is typically the last step in the process? The answer is A. Document the solution and cause. Document the solution and cause is the last step in CompTIA's troubleshooting methodology because it ensures that a record is kept of the issue and its resolution. This documentation aids in faster resolution of similar problems in the future, provides a reference for other technicians, and contributes to a knowledge base. By documenting the solution and cause, technicians can avoid repeating the same troubleshooting steps and can build on past experiences to improve overall service efficiency. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.